Can I ask you, just to go back to uh, the president's uh, events in, in Chicago and Maryland, uh, getting back out on the campaign trail for these midterms, has he or the White House or, or both of you uh, considered what life will be like with a Republican Senate? Um, not really. Uh, the fact of the matter is the president has spent a lot of time over the last couple of years uh, trying to boost the candidacy of Democratic candidates, both incumbents and challengers all across the country. Uh, and the president uh, has spent a lot of time raising money. There's been a lot of coordination between the president's own um, campaign infrastructure and the campaign infrastructures of, uh, of candidates all across the country. And we do anticipate that there will be significant benefits that can be transferred uh, in the form of uh, volunteer lists uh, and other technology that was used to turn out votes in 2012 that can benefit uh, candidates in, in 2014. Uh, that all said, the reason that we are uh, continue to be confident about the outcome of the midterm elections uh, is because uh, in, in each of these, and this goes to sort of what I was talking to Jim about earlier, um, that on the issues uh, we see Democratic candidates all across the country strongly advocating policies that benefit middle class families. Um, that's not just the right thing for the country. Uh, it is the President's view that the best way to grow our economy is from the middle out. Uh, but that also happens to be an approach that is strongly supported by uh, the vast majority of Americans. So uh, as long as the more that we can have debates on the issues uh, and discuss the uh, priorities of the two candidates, uh, that in this case there's a pretty clear choice between a whole slate of Democratic candidates that are fighting for middle-class families and a whole slate of Republican candidates that believe we should just offer uh, greater tax cuts and benefits to those at the top with the expectation that it'll trickle down on everybody else.